How you guys doing? Alan Pastrana here again at the SEMA show and let me tell you what a surprise. Just walking right past me here is the winner, the first place winner of the ultimate brush off contest, Ryan Townsend. And he didn't even know that he won. No. So Ryan, how was it? Was it a big surprise? It was. I didn't. You come up to me, he's like, oh, you're the winner. I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't know I won. I didn't. So I mean, you had to remind me. Yeah. For a hot second, I had to look at your badge and I had to make sure and confirm Arcadia, Oklahoma. And then I was like, it can't be that much of a coincidence. But so how do you feel that you won first place? I'm really stoked about it, actually. Like, I put a lot of work into it. I heard there was a contest in an email. Yeah. And funny thing is, I, I was already doing a zombie theme for the contest before I knew that the contest was Halloween. Sure, sure. So I was already deep into my painting and then I heard it's supposed to be Halloween theme I was like oh thank God I chose the Halloween theme well Ryan I gotta ask you break this down to me I mean what was the inspiration how did you come up with this design actually there's a whole story behind it a yeah. really detailed story yep. but um, I, I always like to involve all the lessons that I have in airbrushing that I sure. picked up from a lot of Facebook staring at your paintings and everybody else's paintings yep. and I try to put as much of that into every painting that I can. Yeah. So I like to work with a lot of candies and I like to do pinups. So any anytime I can do a woman in a painting, I paint one. Now, so. I mean, did you start this from sketch process yeah. to finish? I actually photographed my girlfriend. Okay. I asked her to uh, pretend like she's holding the head. Yeah. I did the head out of a mirror. Yeah. It's my face. Okay, cool. So I just made that up just staring into a mirror. This one, I took a picture of her and then I and then I drew it out yeah. to pose her the way that I wanted her because I like it to look cartoony and not sure. so real. Well, I can definitely tell by looking at uh, your illustration here that you definitely paid close attention to your reference. You shot your own reference. You just didn't download it from the internet. And you pretty much put, put this whole piece together really nicely. I like the composition. I like how you got, you know, some movement in her body. I like all the texture in the leopard skin, mm -hmm. um, the texture in, in, in the handle, the blood, all that is, is just amazing. So uh, now, is this all 100% airbrush or did you do any mixed media with it? No mixed media at all. Okay. It's all done with uh, your automotive house of color. Yep. Freehand. I don't like to stencil as much as I can. Sure. So I, where I had to with the hard edges, yeah. I do it. But for the most part, I try to stay as loose as I can. Do you use any freehand shield work? I, I do, but very minimal. Okay. Like where I have to. Like yeah. I think there's a little bit around her ear and around here and then around here. But for the most part, and here. Did but you, I, but I did a little bit of everything. A lot of taping and a lot of yeah, on this I, particular one because. because you, and I'd shot the blue first and yeah. candy work and yeah now the the use of light and shadow and colors is pretty amazing um, how'd you come about uh, figuring that out or, or coming studying up your work actually wow, yeah thanks. yeah well I like to look at your work uh, Javier Soto sure um, uh, the late great Jaime Rodriguez yep, yep and I like their lighting work yeah and I've been trying to dial it down for a long time figure it out so that's why I put the moon in the background, so I would have an excuse to have these back glows. Yeah, I, and that's what I meant by use of lighting. I mean, you got all the reflections from the moon happening here, almost as a secondary light source, if you will. But you also have your primary light source coming from the yeah, other side. Exactly. Um, I imagine she's lit with yeah regular normal sure, light. Sure. And then the backlit is the moon causing these glows around the edges. Yep. I made sure to put that in there because. I think it's really impactful to a painting to add such special effects. Absolutely. So. And, you know, your use of color is pretty amazing as well. I mean, I, I like the, the green texture, skin tone that's on her, you know, against the blue. Um, so you got your warm against your cools. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty neat. I like the background also. You got like some uh, freehand zombies that you put right. back here and some trees. So I can tell there's a lot of different techniques, everything from you know, masking to freehanding, you know, to shield work. And yeah. uh, I guess that's why you won first place, buddy. Uh -huh. You know? Thanks. So, well, I put all that in there on purpose. I was trying to show off, you know. I wanted to make sure that if I could, I wanted to show every part of what I'm capable yeah. of doing. Well, you definitely did it, man. So congratulations, man. Uh -huh. Ryan Thanks. Townsend, first place, <laughs> ultimate brush off. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.